फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इजी जी एस टी फॉर यू आई एम योर होस्ट गिरीश कुलकर्णी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू मेटल स्क्रैप ट्रांजेक्शन्स नाउ दिस विल बी हैविंग इफेक्ट विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम द डेट टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दीज चेंजेस आर ब्रॉट इन टू द सिस्टम थ्रू थ्री नोटिफिकेशन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ लिख ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर डेटेड एट ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड नोटिफिकेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑब्लिक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर डेटेड नाइन्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑल चेंजेस विल बी अगेन एप्लीकेबल फ्रॉम टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ दो दोज टैक्स पेयर्स हु आर डीलिंग विथ मेटल स्क्रैप्स which are covered under the custom tariff acts tariff number 72 to 81 uh, for them these changes will be applicable now primarily the first change would be applicability of reverse charge mechanism so whenever uh, these scrap items are procured by a registered taxpayer from an unregistered supplier then in that case reverse charge mechanism will become applicable meaning the recipient will have to pay tax to the government uh, on that particular transaction of procurement from unregistered person secondly applicability of tds now whenever there is a transaction between b2b related to these scrap tariff items these are all metal scrap ferrous and non ferrous so for example some scrap item is sold from or uh, sold by a registered taxpayer to another registered taxpayer in that case there will be applicability of tds now what does it mean is that the buyer will have to deduct tax at certain percentage on the transaction value contract value and will have to deposit it with the government on behalf of the supplier so while making to the payment to the supplier the recipient will make a short payment to the extent of tds deducted and that tds will be deposited by the recipient now this tds applicability will be specifically uh, in the applicable on the transaction from a registered supplier to a registered recipient the tds percentage will be 2% igst or 1% cgst and 1% igst or sgst on the transaction now the tax depo- tax deducted by the buyer by the recipient will be deposited latest by the 10th of next month uh, and the same is required to be accepted by the supplier through acceptance mechanism and as it is accepted it will get reflected in the electronic cash ledger of the supplier so supplier will get the benefit of tds which is de- deducted by the uh, recipient thirdly whenever there is a supply by of these scrap items and the supplier is unregistered there is a applicability of reverse charge as we discussed in the beginning of this video and there was a notification which says that if you are exclusively dealing in the supply wherein the tax is chargeable under reverse charge mechanism then you are not required to obtain any registration irrespective of your uh, turnover even if it is crossing the threshold of turnover so these scrap items of chapter number 72 to 81 are excluded from that exclusion which effectively means that once the threshold limit for registration is crossed by an unregistered supplier to uh, in these cases of uh, scrap uh, items in that particular case he will be required to obtain the registration and then he becomes a registered supplier so the tax will be chargeable by him in forward charge mechanism as a normal tax uh, on supply of goods goods and again tds applicability will become effective post his registration so this is these three are the important changes related to the scrap transactions related to metal and these are effective effective from 10th of october of this month uh, now importantly those for those uh, uh, taxpayers Who, to whom this uh, applicability of tds is there they will have to obtain a registration as tax deductor under gst separately and will have to do the related con- uh, compliance so i hope this video uh, explains the changes related to transactions related to scrap items and uh, share this video with your friends thank you so much